Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I am your host Chelsea Lynn. And I am your host Paige June. Hello rock fuckers. We got the whole crew back today. There's um, Brett and Maggie. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hey honey. <laughs> and just want to let y'all know, for the one dude who gets annoyed at me clearing my throat, <clears throat> going to be doing it uh, here and there throughout this, this pod because my throat is raw as fuck. I just finished uh, nine shows in a row or something like that. and uh, Extra flimmy. A- a- extra, f- you know, it, dude, when I have shows back to back to back to back to back, doing that deep Tammy voice, like, it, my throat is raw today. I can't imagine. <clears throat> hey, guys, Tammy here. Hey, guys, Tammy here. Because you do have to change your voice. So 100, like, 100%. 100%. So, just, just, a, just a heads up and a warning, okay? Just let y'all know. And then meeting all the people after does not help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so throat's a little raw, um, pussy's a little raw, and uh, that's where I'm at right now in my life. Pretty raw. Yeah. Um, Brett cannot pack powder in my butt, dude. That's why I say I I need to do it, because I'm the only one that knows how to do it correctly. He's so confused. Okay, so I'm doing fart art for my website. First off. Give people a little rundown, just a quick little rundown about what they, because they're going to be like, Yeah, I'm telling you. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm doing fart art for my website. I have a a white canvas that we put over my butt, and I fart onto the canvas, and it gathers all the powder, and then I'm going to pour resin over it to keep it. People can hang this fart art up on their wall, do whatever you want with it. Brilliant idea. It's a masterpiece, basically. And... Brett cannot pack the fucking powder. He goes, huh? What? Dude. Brett, what's going Erroneous. on? Why can't you pack the powder? Uh, well, first of all, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, you just, you just kind of sprinkle it on. You okay. Know? And then you just kind of sit there and, and you, you don't know, just kind of sift it a little. You don't know how to and sprinkle. It all works, and it all works out. He just put a glob of it, and I could tell it was too packed. I couldn't even push. <sighs> no, you got to leave a little... How much powder should he put? Like, what's the amount, would you say? I'll come over and fucking do it. (laughs) I I almost called you last night, and then I almost made you come over here this morning. Dude, I'll come over and fucking do it. He don't even know how to put... Oh, my God. Yeah, she's like, if Chelsea was here, she could do it. I could. And he's like, then get Chelsea over here. (laughs) We were fighting. (laughs) Fighting over the powder. I'm like, you know what? I didn't go to uh, butt... (laughs) Powder pack school or whatever, and get a master's. Well, that doesn't exist, pack. Brett. I know. Hold it on, seems like there's like use a lot of powder, don't use a lot of powder. Um, you know. I honestly didn't yeah. know it was such a yeah. big deal. Yeah, I didn't. I either. thought you would put the powder in the asshole. No, no, God, how do you do that? Because when you blow it out with a little, uh, you know, a cup with the thing. What am I? A s- <laughs> <laughs> A no, syringe. A <laughs> no, Maggie, we can't put colored powder in her butthole in the in the crevice of the we in the anus. We can't do that. I thought it always went inside of the hole. Whoa. <gasps> Good thing Maggie's never fucking packed. It. <laughs> she <laughs> just, she shoves a funnel in my Paige asshole. would be in the hospital. <laughs> What's Paige in the hospital for? Oh, okay, me. so just everybody be looking out for fart art. I will do the packing. She will be have the, she will have those on her website. Brett just. Don't have him do that no more. I needed a good um, price gauge. Like, so the canvas is 8 by 10. I don't know how much people will pay for the fart art. Do a it little, is quite the process. Do a little uh, questionnaire on your Instagram. People will let you know. Do a little poll. Like, yeah. hey, what's too much? What's not? Mm-hmm. Listen. How do, you, how do you get it in there? So what I, do, you, do you have to spread the cheek open a little bit with your other hand? Brett's back know. on it. Yeah. Brett, I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Appreciate it's that. it's one of those things you need to see it. He needs a tutorial. I video. thought I saw it before, but I just mm, guess you didn't. Hey, can I can I just straight up just cut into it? Uh, enough of this. Enough of this talk. Um, I met Dave Chappelle. I can't believe it. And I have not told y'all what happened because I've been waiting to tell it on the pod. So <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you guys how I met Dave Chappelle. You ready? Here's the story. Okay. <clears throat> 
first off, I love Dave Chappelle. Okay. Just, and I've met a lot of celebrities. And for me, this was like, this was probably like the top number one. Just comedian wise, like there's nobody bigger than Dave Chappelle, dude. And he is, God, the Chappelle show. Okay. So anyway, he's loved. I love him. So I have never seen him live before, ever. So I opened the, the tour in Denver. Okay. We had, so there's two comedy clubs in Denver um, they're called Comedy Works. There's one downtown and there's one like 15 minutes from downtown. And um, I had three nights of shows there, two shows a night. So I had six shows and Nick Schwartzen was doing shows at the other location, the same nights I was. So <clears throat> I, I do the first night of shows. Great. Second night of shows. Great. Third night of shows. Right before we're about to go on stage, the manager comes back and she says, hey, and she, okay, she goes, hey, Chelsea, Dave Chappelle is doing a surprise pop-up show at the other location tonight. Tickets went on sale this morning. They haven't announced who it is yet, but everybody knows it's Dave Chappelle because he does like surprise shows in Denver all the time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and she said, the show is from midnight to two. He's doing it after wow. uh, Nick Schwartz's show. She said, you should go down there and check it out. And I like freak out. I'm like, whoa. And then I'm thinking, fuck, I've got two shows, two meet and greets. We usually don't get out of the clubs till like 1 a.m. at earliest. And I'm like, fuck, I'm not going to be able to. And they were like, we can make it happen. We'll help run the meet and greet. Um, you know, Beth will stay here and, and pack up the all the stuff when you're done. You can, like, head on down as soon as you're done. Like, may, at least catch the end of it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. I said, I'll go. Let them know I'm coming. And they're like, okay. <clears throat> so, do the shows. The whole time I'm thinking, oh, my God, I get to go see Dave Chappelle. Like, oh, my God. I'm, yeah. like, freaking out. So, I get done with the last meet and greet. I run to the green room, grab my bag, <laughs> and I'm like, peace. Peace, bitches. And Officer Daniels drove me to the other club. So me and him are like speeding to the club. Mm -hmm. And Libby, Tina, Beth, I think that was it, are like, y'all go, we'll meet y'all there. And I'm like, okay. So we rush down there. It's packed. It's standing room only, Okay. We rush in, and um, they put us in the back, and I catch the last 15 minutes of a show. He's been on stage two hours. Wow. Holy shit. Testing out new material. And I caught it. I caught the last 15 minutes of it. And it was so surreal just to see him. I was like, dude, he, like, I've never, oh, my God, you could have heard... The laughs were so loud, but you could also hear a pin drop in there. He would tell a joke, and the whole crowd would go nuts. <clears throat> and then he would stop and just light a cigarette. Oh, God, I love <laughs> Up him. on stage. Up on stage. And it would take him, like, and he wasn't rushing or anything. He'd yeah. sit there, and he'd pull out a cigarette, and everyone's just silent, just staring at him. He would light it up. He'd take a puff. He'd take a drink of his whiskey. And the whole time, everybody's just literally just yeah. staring. Nobody's like, saying a word. Real? Nobody's saying a word. Now, if that was <clears throat> my audience, oh, my God. It'd be People, like, creamed oh, corn. Yes, exactly. So I'm thinking, wow, like, this is so cool. So. How many people were there? 300. You know, 3, 350. Packed. And so he's done. Um, everybody leaves. And I'm thinking, I'm sticking around <laughs> because <clears throat> I'm going to meet Dave Chappelle. Well, I didn't go there thinking that was going to happen, but I had high hopes. But I thought, okay, this may or may not happen. So anyway, everybody leaves. The only people that are there are it's like, it's like a couple local comics, me, the uh, staff of um, the venue, uh, one of the managers and the owner who I had met previously. So the owner of the club. and everything. So there's like maybe 10 of us kind of sitting around the lobby. <clears throat> and we're waiting and we're waiting. And I said, I asked one of the comics, I said, do you think he's going to come out? Do you think she, and he was like, well, he used to, I really haven't seen him do that here, here lately. But he goes, let me grab, let me grab. And he, he waves over one of the managers who I had met and was so nice. And he was like, hey, do you think you could get Chelsea to meet Dave? And she goes, 
Well, if it will happen, it can only be you, Chelsea. And I'll look back at Daniels and <laughs> Tina and Beth. Yeah. Bye-bye. And I go, fuck them. Okay. Yeah. And she goes, okay. And they were also like, they, they were like, go, we get it. Go yeah. ahead. Go oh, ahead. Oh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so she goes, let me ask. I'm like, okay. She goes, he usually loves to meet comics. I was like, okay. So she leaves. She comes back. And she goes, come on back. And I go, oh, my God. Did you have a heart attack? Yeah, what were you thinking? I, she goes, come on back. She goes, his manager loves you. Oh. <gasps> It was either his manager or his, like, road manager or tour manager. She was somebody. She did something. And I go, oh, my God. my ho- I'm just like, this cannot be. Okay. So we walk back, <clears throat> and we're walking down this hallway, and there's, like, 30 people back there. Bodyguards. Um, friends. Um, look like there were some strippers. Um, Could have been. Uh, groupies. You know what I mean? Um I hear he travels with like 30 people at all times. Oh, there was a lot of people back there. Wow. And so I walk up and there's this little lady and uh, she's like, um, oh my God, Chelsea Lynn. She's like, I love you. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, thank you. And then right when I did that, these big old bodyguards turn around and one of them's like, oh, you're the titty roach girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh my God, it's so nice to meet. Like I was shocked that they knew who I was, you know? And uh, they open the door. They're all in the hallway. They open the door, and they said, go on in. And I'm like, oh, my God. (laughs) So I walk in, and it's this little green room. I'm talking, if five people were in this green room, it would have been crowded. Wow. Holy shit. There was a little love seat and, like, a little desk with a little fridge, and that was it. Five people would have been crowded. So I walk in. I'm getting heart pal. I'm like nervous thing talking about it. So I walk in and he's sitting on the couch and it's just him and his photographer. That's the only two people in the room. So I'm assuming that they cleared everybody out for me to come in. Yeah. <laughs> or he was in the hallway and they like he like they made it private for yeah. me. Which was crazy to me. They yeah. made it they made it they made it a private experience. Oh, so I walk yeah. in <clears throat> and He's sitting on the couch, and as soon as I walk in, he stands up, and he goes, oh, Chelsea Lynn. He goes, I've heard about you. And I go, I'm thinking, what? (laughs) You know? He comes over, and he shakes my hand, and he's like, "Um, it's honestly, it's all a blur. I vlogged it. I vlogged the aftermath Mm -hmm. of me, like, telling the story, so that'll be more in detail on on the next vlog. But um, I kind of, like... I didn't even know what I said. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, thank you so much for meeting with me. And he was like, oh, yeah. He was like, um, and then he asked me, uh, he was like, I fi- I assumed that I would walk in, nice to meet you, take a picture, thank you so much, and leave. Yeah. And that's kind of what I wanted to do because I didn't want to bother him, you know. And it's like 2 a.m. Yeah. And um, he goes, let's get a picture. And his photographer took a picture of us. And he goes, make sure we look good, you know. And then I was like, well, thank you so much. And, you know, that was going to be it. And he goes, he goes, how long have you been doing stand-up? And I said, a year. And he goes, wow. He goes, congratulations on all the success. He goes, that's that's wild. He goes, uh, he goes, do you love it? And I go, yeah, man. I go, it's, it's like ch- literally changed my life. And he goes, that's awesome. He goes, always stay true to yourself. Aww. He goes, don't ever, don't ever change anything you do. Don't ever change. He goes, and you'll just keep climbing and keep climbing. And I said, thank you. And then he goes, where are you from? And I said, Oklahoma. He goes, okay. I said, I'm about to move to Nashville, though. And he goes, why Nashville? And I said, well, we we bought some land. And right at that moment, his friend comes barging in. And his friend goes, Dave, you got to see this roach video. you got to see this roach video. <laughs> I fucking love Dave. And I go, so his friend holds up the phone. So it's me, Dave, and his friend. We're all watching the video. And there I am just bound, being in my teeth. And Dave goes, oh, my God. And he, like, runs around the room. He's like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And, um. And then his friends leaves, and I said, "Well, I don't." I said, "I don't want to take. I don't want to bother you too much. I just, you know, wanted to say hi." And he was like, "You're not bothering me." And I was like, "I was like, well, thank you." Dave wanted to hang out. Yeah. yeah. And he goes, he goes, "Are you doing the festival?" And I go, "The Netflix is a joke festival." He goes, "Yeah." And I said, "Yeah, I am." 
And he goes, he goes, I am too. Which, by the way, not a whole lot of comedians were doing. I mean, like, yeah, he knew I was doing that festival, Mm -hmm. which was crazy to me. Yeah. So I said, yeah, I am. He goes, I am too. He goes, I'd love to see you at a show. He goes, come to a show. And I go, okay. He goes, all right. He goes, well, I'll see you around. And I said, yeah, for sure. And I said, I said, thanks so much, man. I go, dude, you're, I said, before I go, your stuff's just brought me a lot of joy. And he goes, he grabbed his heart. He goes, thank you so much. And he came and gave me a big old hug. Coolest oh night, man. dude, so nice, so cool. I, and then I left and I was literally on a Dave Chappelle high for about three or four days. He sat there and watched you slap a roach with your tit. I know. In person. I know. And you got to see his reaction. <laughs> yeah. I love the security guard. Mm-hmm. What so, a cool dude. So that was my experience. That It was so cool, you know, like. Were you tripping? Because, oh like, my. that happens to you every fucking show. And mm-hmm. then you had, you were that person. Well, I, I, you know, I'd put on my Instagram, like, I just met Dave Chappelle. And so many people messaged me, and they're like, that's how I felt whenever I met you. And I'm Aww. like, so sweet. <laughs> so, Which is wild to me. I'm like, me? You know? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so sweet, you guys. It is a trippy thing, because, like, you're meeting somebody who you watch yeah. a lot, and then you're like, okay, what am I going to say? Like, yeah. gosh. I know. So, that's it was wild. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I was wondering how you fucking met him. Yep, it just happened. It just it lined up so perfectly, dude. It just lined up perfectly. So crazy. How was his stand up? The fifteen minutes. Oh the, my gosh! Uh, the new material. Oh, that's another thing he said. He goes, "Yeah, I was testing out some new material tonight." He goes, "I think it's gonna work." And I go, "Yeah, you you killed." <laughs> I couldn't imagine just standing up on stage trying all these new things and I then. Know. I know. Yeah. So that's my Dave Chappelle story. I finally got to tell Fuck you guys. Yeah. It was it was awesome. It was awesome. Um proud of you here. Thanks, honeys. Yeah. Um also, uh merch is coming, rock fuckers. We are working on merch. We've been working really hard. We actually have pretty much finished the merch. We have a photo shoot next week for the website and then and then it'll be ready. So so be ready. Be ready. I'd say I'd say a week or two max, a couple weeks. We're not we'll we'll let you guys know the exact date, but it's coming. Mm-hmm. It's coming. Just six months later. <laughs> well, we've been we've been fucking busy. Me and Dave Chappelle. And I mean, I met Dave Chappelle. I was busy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a shirt. Yeah. So be ready for the merch, merch, and yep. uh, I was gonna give a little update on my sister because everyone's been asking. Yes. And. She is cancer-free from her colon cancer. I can't remember everything I've said on the pod. I don't, I don't, think, you, I don't last, think you've told people that. Yeah, so she had her colon cancer and then had surgery for that, cancer-free, and then they checked her lymph nodes, and she does have cancer in her lymph nodes. So now she has to go through chemo. Mm-hmm. So she's starting that, and we're just going to stay positive. Yep. And Do they know what know. stage it is? I think they said stage three. Okay. So that she has she has cancer in six of her lymph nodes, and there's what? How many lymph I nodes? I guess, like, is there 56, and you're, okay. like, I think you have 600 total in your okay. body, but, like, in the throat area. Okay. They tested, like, out of 56, and six of them do have cancer. So I okay. don't know the process for that. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're, yeah. we're, so, we're going to knock that out, too. Gonna knock that shit out and fuck cancer. Exactly. Hey, honey's gonna be cancer free here. Mm-hmm. Completely. Yeah, she's got it. Hundred percent for real. So leave your remedies again. Mm-hmm. I was reading through those mm-hmm. religiously. Exactly. Yeah, I love you guys and thanks for caring. Yeah, and thank y'all for the support for everything for our families and for this pod and for everything. Mm-hmm. We love you. Oh, Brett's mom gave me a good remedy for hemorrhoids. Remember the caller said that I have a hemorrhoid. Yeah. And, uh, Brett's mom said, bro. Bromelian, bromelian, and you can get it from a vitamin store. Take two tablets twice a day, a.m. and p.m., <laughs> one hour before a meal and two hours. Oh, yeah. And I guess that gets rid of your hemorrhoids. It'll just zap that shit right up? Uh-huh. That's good to know. Whoa. <laughs> Bro- bromelian? Bromelian. 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 Yeah. Just Google it. It's a naturally occurring anti-inflammatory supplement. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's good to yeah. know. I bet it has other benefits, too. Thanks, Mom. 
Dude, I've been on, you guys know I've been on a mushroom, y'all been on a mushroom, y'all got me on a mushroom kick. I went and bought a bunch of mushroom supplements and powders, and so I've been on a kick too, so. Me too, at Sprouts. Yeah. I went and got yeah. some. Sprouts. Yeah, so, hey honey's trying to stay healthy here. Yay. <laughs> We're fucking healthy. Um, Can I just say, I'm excited for the next segment. Uh-oh. <laughs> DM. Are you ready for the I'm, DMs? Dude, I'm so, I've been waiting Yes. What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? Chelsea can't <clears throat> fucking wait to tell us her DMs. Because this... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay. So, first off, this is the best DM of the day that I've ever gotten. Oh. And, it, and it wasn't even me that got it. Who got it? Hmm. Let me tell you. A sweet rock fucker by the name of Annie. Hold on, guys. Let me clear my throat real quick, okay? Talks amongst yourselves. Oh, boy. A rock fucker named Annie came up to me in the meet and greet. This was either in Salt Lake or or Denver. And she said, hey, you guys remember the guy y'all posted that called in? and s- You guys remember the guy y'all posted? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> that sent Paige fart videos? Mm-hmm. She goes, he's been DMing me. What? And I said, huh? How does she know it's him? Maggie, listen, just listen to me. Oh, God. <laughs> but tell us. Listen, so apparently, uh, this is what I, this is what, okay. Apparently, we posted a video of him farting, okay? Apparently, he went up and down the comments <laughs> and was messaging, <laughs> oh. at, le- at least her, I'm assuming more, of the people that commented on his fart videos. Are they you love the fart videos are, or no? Are you guys ready? I'm dead. <clears throat> Holy shit. And there's like four screenshots here, so get ready. Just I'm l- dead. Let me go through okay. them. Let me go through them. <laughs> okay? He messaged her and said, this is the fart guy from the podcast. I have the full video of me moving my cheeks. <laughs> I gotta get- hold on. Hold on. If you want it. So he messaged that to her at 10 a.m. Just if you want it. She must have not seen it or whatever. So at 11.46, Damn. he said, from the viral podcast with Paige, I have other videos and I do FaceTime as well. Oh. And she responds, yes, please. Oh, she wanted them? Just. Yeah. Content. And she gives us, con- she's giving us content. She knew what, she knew what she was doing. Yeah. You know, that's a rock fucker. Mm-hmm. And then he responds, yes, for the full video. And other videos, or do you want to see me fart live on FaceTime? LOL. And she just wrote, excited. (laughs) Well, he sends a video of himself, just a full-length video of his farts. And he goes, the video is still sending. Sorry, LOL. Do you want to see more videos? Just let me know. Also, do you want to watch me fart over FaceTime? Damn, he wants somebody to fucking FaceTime He him. wanted me to at first. I was in the, <laughs> the drive through line, though. And and then he goes, and then he goes, what do you think? LOL. And she responds, I love it. You should absolutely continue to send them to me. And he goes, I have plenty. I'll send them to you later today. But... I have to fart now. So do, you, <laughs> so do you want to watch me live? It's fun. She didn't respond. And then he goes, you want to? If not, it's cool. She didn't respond. And then the next day he goes, hey, want another video? And she goes, yeah. And he sends another video. And she goes, amazing. And he said, thank you. I'm fucking dead. He it, does have the best farts. <laughs> the fact that he has so many saved videos of him doing those tricks I with wonder, his fingers. I know. No. He plays an instrument. It's the fact that he went up and down the comments. Offering the full video and to FaceTime. I wonder how many people actually have FaceTimed him. He wants those farts out. And he wants them. I think it does something for him. For oh. people to hear them live. <laughs> I'm dead. Don't you? And the fact that she s- took screenshots and showed you. Oh, oh, boy. She couldn't wait to tell me through the meet and greet. And I, I, go, I go send those to me. I need I'm to find I'm dead. Her. That's the best DM yeah. I've ever heard. Yeah. I told you. 
I told y'all. And it wasn't even my DM. It wasn't even yours. Dude. That's funny. I, I was just searching him up to see if he sent me some. <laughs> he wrote me after we posted him and said, damn, you guys got a lot of positive feedback. Oh, my God. He's proud. Oh, he. Let me know. And then he said, hey, Paige, I apologize. My account got hacked a week ago. You probably received Bitcoin messages. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Holy. all he said. Y'all, we need to FaceTime him on the pod and have him do tricks. I know. Or what? Us. What if we got? What if we flew him in? He doesn't oh, want to be known. We need to put a mask on him. We'll put a mask. Oh my god! <laughs> if we did a podcast with him in a mask oh. the whole time, and he was just ripping <laughs> ass. Hold on, hold on. I have an idea, real quick, before you do your DM of the day. We move to Nashville. We get the new studio set up. We put a camera in the corner for our guests. He stands over there in a mask the whole time. But if he has to fart, he interrupts us and says, I got, I got one. And then he does his tricks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need a mic just for that ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. ASMR. It's the way he flicks it and makes it sound like that. Okay. That's I enough. love it. That's enough. <laughs> Very talented. It yeah. really is. I mean, I've never seen anybody do that shit. <sighs> He's proud of that shit. And I think he has to have those tight ass boxer briefs on. <laughs> Dead. I like how awesome. polite he is. Dead. Yeah. All right. Nice. So what's your yeah. DM of the day, honeys? Um, somebody said request. The Barbara sisters meeting Damien. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Should we do it? Barbara, what's that noise? Barbara, I hear something. What is that, bitch? That Me. Huh? Your stomach's great. Who? Me. <gasps> huh? Barbara. Who is that? Barbara, I'm scared. Me. Oh, Lord. Don't be scared. Barbara, someone just stuck something in my pussy. What's in your pussy, Barbara? Somebody, Barbara, somebody's fucking me. I'm huh? the one fucking you. Barbara, what's going on? Who I'm is, the one fucking you. Who is I'm that? I'm scared. I'm going to fuck your sister. Huh? <laughs> what's your name? I'm going to fuck your sister, Damien. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who have no idea. <laughs> And they're like, what the fuck just happened? Who the Barbers are. Go to Instagram and look up the Barber Sisters. You, you'll know. You'll find out real quick. You'll find out real fucking quick. They do these skits <laughs> and they're always going, hey? And the, like, how eh? did this start? Eh? I love them. They sound like the Ying Yang Twins. We don't too. know how it started. We've been doing that our whole lives. Our whole lives. <laughs> yeah, that's just how they communicate. It like. just kind of evolved with the glasses and the top knot. 100%. And the, uh... 100%. Get trivy. Get trivial. Ah, uh, get trivy. Get trivial. Ah, uh, fuck me. Get uh, trivy. Get trivial. All right. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. Let's do three questions apiece. Okay. Is everyone ready for trivial? Yes. Spin that wheel. Brett, you got the questions, Shawty? Got them. Here we mm-hmm. go. Serial killers. Ooh. Ooh. This is perfect for you. I'm excited. Uh, serial killers. Um, yeah, that's not on my, my little thing here. It's not on the... <laughs> I'm dead. Is right. it on the Excel? Let's Ex- find the other, Brett, uh, Brett, Brett, thing. Brett. Man, I was excited Brett. about that one. Brett, yes. calm down. He's over the there freaking thing. out. He's free. Brett. I'm looking for the folder. Is it on the Excel? Can you pull up Google That'll Docs? take a while. Hold Jesus on Jesus Christ. Not prepared here. Hey, honeys, do better. Let wow. me just spin again, bro. Hold on. I think we have it. Hold on. Oh, hey, got Brett, it right here. Brett, wake up. Serial killer. All right, here oh. we go. That was great. First when, of, uh, oh. well, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. When was the term serial killer first coined? Coined? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ooh. What does that mean? I think it's if you've killed like more than six people. Let's just say that Manson guy or whatever. Well, no, know. when? I'm oh. going to say the 60s. Yeah. I'll say 71. It was the, in the 70s. Oh. So I don't know. Uh, 70. She said 71. Okay. So, I mean, she, technically she's. 
Just what is kind of right? Seventies. Brett, Brett, are you okay? The seventies. She said sixties. <laughs> Brett's over. No, Paige said seventy-one. Okay. Oh, that was the seventies, right? Brett, y'all can't see Brett. He is literally over going <laughs> tripping. What? Like, oh Brett, my. relax, no. bro. Oh, I'm chill. No, you're I'm not. Here. Okay, it's because he smoked a bong rip. Jesus Christ! All right, honey, it's your turn. Could you smell it when you walked in no. here? That wasn't me. Here we go. Harry Potter <sighs> and the sorcerer's getting stoned. Yo, what color is that? <laughs> Green. Green. It's right here. Does your nose ever just run for no reason? And all, you're like, why is it running? All the time. So I'm just going to be over here just wiping it with my fingers. Do, you do guys ready one. yet? Do this one. <laughs> okay. Ron Weasley has a fear of which insect? Oh, shit. Ronald Weasley. Do you, does anybody know? A bee? I'm just going to say a fly. It's going to go with a spider is what it says here. Spider. That was common sense. That was common sense. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, my turn. Is Harry Potter still pretty big? TV shit. I think it's always big. Yeah. TV shit. Here we go. South Park takes place in which state? Oh, I, I want to say Alaska. I want to say like Connecticut or something. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah. yeah. Colorado. Oh, fuck. I knew it was Did Colorado. you say Alaska because it's always snowing yeah. and they're bundled up? Yeah. I didn't know that. They are cute little characters. I don't think I've ever seen an episode of South Park. I've seen really? clips. I've seen clips. Yeah. 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 All right. Go ahead, honey. Saw the movie. Tom Hanks. Ooh. Don't know any of these. Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, do this one, Brett. <laughs> oh, I got it right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, wait, which one? <laughs> oh, my God. The third one. You, you like that one? Okay. A- after college, Forrest Gump was recruited by the U.S. Army and sent off to fight in which war? Viet fucking now! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because you knew I'd say that, huh? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Applause. Mm-hmm. Okay. Applause. That. All right. Brett's telling, <laughs> Brett's telling me how to do my I job. know. I gotta it. All right. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Geography. Ge- I'm, pr- I- I'm pretty good at this. In what country can you visit Machu Picchu? You had to go deep on me, Beth. Um, I'm going to say Asia. I was just going to say that with you. It's uh, Peru. Peru. Oh, did yeah, I do a country. continent? Yeah, yeah. Instead of a country, a I said, said a continent. I have no idea where any of these are. You want to do another Miki one in the geography just Miki for fun? Puchu? Or should we keep it moving? Just for fun. Let's do one more. Okay. Which U.S. state has the most active volcanoes? Hawaii. Yeah, I would say Hawaii. You're wrong. Okay, can we guess another? Sure. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm pissed it's not Hawaii. I know. I totally thought it was going to be. Um, uh, um, I don't know. Starts with an A. Huh? Alaska. Yes. Is it really? It's what it says. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's verified, too, even on uh, the internets. That's pretty cool. I learned something new today. Alaska with the volcanoes? I don't know. Who would have thunk? Not me. All right, should we do one more? Let's do one more. Okay. Your turn. <clears throat> Here we go. Women of the 90s. Here we go. Yeah, what color is that? Um, Red. 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 Right Red. Here. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do 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 better. Do 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 better. Do 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 Okay, go ahead. Do better. What is the last name of Tia and Tamara? Maori. Uh turmeric. Hold on, hold on. 
You're correct. So I was correct, and you sit there staring at the paper for 10 seconds before you told anybody I was Can correct? Can I give Tage a, a chance to answer No, because if I get it right, that's it. Mallory. Well, I know, but I mean, I, I kind of, you know, okay. she said Tamarick. I thought that was kind of funny, but, you know, okay. I could just cut her mic. All right, guys, we love oh, you. Gosh. We had a long intro. We are ready for these questions. I am so ready for these questions. Oh, Boo, yeah. let's get into it. Oh, yeah, I'm throbbing. Really? Hey, honey, lazy bitch here. So I have a confession slash question. Um, Here's my confession. I hate doing chores. I know that they have to be done, but I really hate doing it. For example, this week I had a load of laundry in the washer that I never hung up and washed it four times so that it wouldn't get mildew on it. I was just too lazy to hang it up. Um, I also hate doing dishes. That's probably my least favorite chore. So, have you guys ever done anything as unexcusably lazy as leave your laundry in the washer for five days straight? Um, also, what is your least favorite chore, and how do you guys make yourself do it? Um, yeah. Anyway, love you, honeys. Oh, yeah. Love oh, yeah. you, honeys. I kind of um, get in a mode sometimes where I'm lazy. Well, I, so my, first off, my least favorite chore is laundry. I hate everything about it. Yeah. From start to finish. It's just never fucking ending. I would rather do five loads of dishes than one load of laundry. It depends what kind of dishes we're working with. That's true. But I hate laundry. Now, I have, like, restarted it because I got lazy, but never more than twice. I've probably done ra- about three rounds. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I hate chores. Everybody hates chores, but I also hate like a dirty house so if i'm like i can't go sit on the couch and relax if the house is dirty i can't my brain sleep at night yeah the house is dirty exactly or if i wake up to a mess it pisses me off so i feel like that's my motivation is like i I can't relax until this place is cleaned up Mm -hmm. my brain is not gonna be able to relax unless it's picked up yeah i'd say the laziest thing that i do is and it's kind of mine and greg's little thing so, like, Greg always goes to bed early if he's not working, you know, late or whatever. Sometimes he, he works, like, super late. And I like to snack at night. <clears throat> so I will go um, get a snack. I'll make a Hot Pocket, bowl of cereal, whatever. I'll always have dishes or trash or whatever. And I usually eat it on the couch. And I will leave all of my trash on the coffee table. Everything. All my trash, all my, my dirty dishes, everything. And guess what? When I wake up the next morning, that shit is cleaned up. And Greg does it every single night for me. Are you serious? Every single night. And he never complains. I'd be fucking mad. He will either come home late at night from work or or get up early in the morning and he will clean my mess. And that's our little thing. What if it was vice versa? I'd be pissed. <laughs> Cause we have, I, there's things I do for him. Yeah. You know, we have, we, that, that's always been a little thing. Like I will like, when I'm tired and I'm going to bed and I see all my dishes right there, I'm like, there's no way I'm picking those. Greg will do that in the morning. They'll be gone tomorrow. Right. And he never complains. He always clean, he always cleans it up for me. That's really nice of him. Yeah. Because I could not, I would say, gosh, I love shit clean. You do. But I do go in little modes, like, especially if I get high. During mm-hmm. the day, it's harder for me to, like, clean and stuff. But this past week, I was like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm fucking lazy this week. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like cleaning up anything or doing shit. Sometimes you need those times. Mm-hmm. And I apologize. I told Brett and Jerry, I don't want to do anything. No, don't apologize to them. All the shit they put you through, absolutely not. You I deserve know. to have a, a week of non-cleaning. That is true. Fuck them kids. I don't I feel think she's like lazy at all. Kids. No. I'm still I would say doing she's stuff. just a sorry, babe, a, a lazy l- luggage packer, maybe. Okay, she I, should just have one big bag. Well, the thing is, we go and leave so fucking much, like I the know. packing. I don't unpack my suitcase as soon as I get home. Yeah, and then I live out of it for an extra week. Right, 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 right. I got you. 
But yeah, chores fucking suck, but we have to do them. Exactly. Chores suck. Hey, honeys, don't feel like cleaning here. I wish somebody would Hi, just, beautiful. Unreal. I wish somebody would just do my laundry and it, or the laundry would just do itself. Like, yeah. why can't they, it just switch from the dryer to the fucking, from the washer to the dryer? Maggie was telling me yesterday mm-hmm. that they have a new, a new unit out that it's a washer and then you have an app on your phone and it tells you when to, when to, you go, you go dryer and then it dries. You don't even <sighs> gotta change it. You don't have to change it. That's what I need. Now, I don't fuck with that shit. If a washer and dryer has Wi-Fi, I'm out. It's going to fucking break. I like the regular, normal, cheap-ass, warm, cold, hot, push start. Mm-hmm. That's all I like. I don't like the fancy shit. Just wash my clothes. I, I don't need to I don't need to hear a ding-dong song when you're done. I don't need any of that shit. But if it's going to dry the clothes and you don't have to bend over, I'm here for it. Yeah, maybe. He's right. Yeah. <laughs> Who does your laundry now, babe? Uh, me or you oh. if you, but you bitch about it. So I oh, said, yeah. stop doing it. Really? Why is that, Brett? I didn't know she told me to stop doing it. I just kept doing it. So. But no, why do you bitch? I don't. He <laughs> does anything and he's like, I did this. Or he has to make it a point that I see him doing it. I know. I know. So does it when you're watching? <laughs> yeah. Acts like he's on his hands and he's scrubbing <laughs> baseboards and shit. I'm like, chill. Dead. Chill. Chill, <clears throat> chill bro. <laughs> All right, we are ready for the next question, Brett. Here we go. Well, gorgeous, amazing, wonderful, smart, hilarious ladies. I have been watching you from A1 Day 1, and I just wanted to call in and say I am a lady foot lover. I don't know the male brain and their obsession with the foot fetish, but I am a woman, and I have a foot fetish as well. Um, without going into, like, extreme detail on a voice message it just does something like i always have like the urge to bite (laughs) and they could be ugly and they could be not ugly i mean hopefully a little more like cleanly nobody likes this extremely stinky foot i guess maybe some people do but um my fetish is not extremely stinky feet it just does something for me i've fucked a foot the big toe has been up my vagine but you know it's just my preference i suppose Thanks for listening. Bye, bitches. Hey, honeys. Thank you. I've never heard of a lady foot fetish lover. I I think I have. Really? Just, but not like fucking the toes. And she said she has the urge to bite. Yeah. Wow. Like bite a toe. So Greg Greg has stuck his big toe up my pussy before. Just oh for fun. God. Just for fun. <laughs> Ooh. I would be sca- scared that the nail would cut my pussy. Oh, leg. he fingered me so hard one day with his fingers that I was bleeding. Oh, I've had that happen. That fucking hurt. It's horrible. You can't walk for a couple days. Oh, and everything swells up inside? Yeah. It's horrible. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Trim your fingernails. But the toe, dude, I get some toe cheese. The gunk, the black, oh. you know, the black stuff you have to dig out. What Only if, if I wear like a new pair of black socks, it does that. Yeah. No. What if that went in your puss? Nah, I, w- I would allow it. Probably. I don't know. But I've never, like, we've never done it like, oh, mm, yeah, let me fuck your, you know. He just stuck it and in. And I've never been like, oh, put that big toe in me. <laughs> put that big toe But in if we're, like, laying on the couch and his legs are kind of, over, like, he's over there, and like, you know, like, we haven't done it in forever. He'll slip a toe in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> toe yeah. Up, toe up. Yeah. Toe up, toe. And my pussy was toe up. <laughs> my, my pussy was. <laughs> my pussy was toe up. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Dead. I'm crying. Dead. Oh. That chick needs shirts. My pussy say, was like, toe up. Toe that pussy up. <laughs> toe that pussy like up. The big toe. Yeah. <laughs> toe that pussy up. <laughs> Holy shit dead oh my gosh wow wow a a lady foot a lady foot lover that's that's incredible i i think that's cool yeah yeah i mean nothing's weird i don't think i don't think anything's weird but i wonder the sensation like because my brother-in-law he said he didn't even know he loved hairy armpits until he saw him Mm. then it made some movements in his pants like wow just 
randomly after what 30 something years and then you suddenly notice you have a fetish yeah huh very interesting very interesting yeah i wonder if we have fetishes but we don't know yet could be honestly maybe maybe (laughs) maybe oh my hello and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Think back to sex ed for a moment. You probably learned all about how to prevent pregnancy, but what about how to plan for it? What if I told you you could get important fertility insight without even going to the doctor or even leaving home? That's why Modern Fertility was created. It's an easy and affordable way to test your fertility hormones at home with a simple finger prick. Mail it in with a prepaid label and you'll get your personalized results within 10 days. Traditional testing with your doctor can cost over thousands, but Modern Fertility gets you the same info at $159, a fraction of the price. And if you go to modernfertility.com slash viral, you can get $20 off your test. Also, if you have an HSA or FSA, you can put those dollars towards Modern Fertility. If you want kids today or... Someday in the future, clinically sound info about your body can help you make the decision that's right for you. Right now, Modern Fertility is offering our listeners $20 off the test when you go to modernfertility.com slash viral. That means your test will cost $139 instead of the hundreds or thousands it could cost at a doctor's office. Get $20 off your fertility test when you go to modernfertility.com slash viral. Modernfertility.com slash viral. Hey, honey. Uh, more serious question geared towards Chelsea here. Um, I know that you've grown up without parents, essentially, but more uh, without your mother. And I was wondering uh, how you kind of dealt with that growing up. Um, me and my mother don't speak, and uh, I feel like she's always choosing my father over her kids, and it hurts. And I was wondering if you had advice to kind of fill the void, because I see other people with their moms, and I don't know, I just feel some type of way or get just uh, jealous. So I was wondering if you had any advice or anything that kind of fills the void. (laughs) I love you, honeys. Bye. Love you, honeys. Thanks for calling in with this vulnerable question. Um, So for me, I don't feel some type of way about it. Like I don't see people with their moms and I don't feel mad or jealous or I never have. Um, and you know what's funny is Mother's Day just passed when was, it was a few weeks ago. Um, and you know how, like, when Mother's Day comes around, everybody will post, like, yeah. you know, like, all, like, like this is for the people who are trying to be mothers. This is for the people who've lost mothers. This is for people who, you know, don't have a good relationship with their mothers. And I was literally thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Like, I, ha- I personally have zero hard feelings because I truly believe that if she could have been a good mother, if she had it in her to be a good mother, she would have. I just don't think she was equipped with the ability to be a present and good mom. I think if she was, she would have been. Um, I've always been a glass half full type of person, even as a kid. You know, we always had, uh, you know, a grand, our, you know, grandmother and, and aunt who were there for us. So I was always just a glass half full. I was happy to have them in, in our lives. You know what I mean? I don't hold any, you know, and if you're new here and you don't know what's going on, you know, our parents really weren't there. Um, as kids, they were alcoholics on and off drugs in and out of jail, in and out of our lives. We were raised by our grandma. Um, I have zero hard feelings. Do you think what helped you is that you, Maggie and Beth got to stay together? That's a big, yeah, that's a big part of it, for sure. Um, Maggie, you want to weigh on weigh in on this or no? Do you have I, any? I never think about it. Me neither. I honestly. feel like I think about it just, well. With us? Well, not really necessarily you two or Beth or anything, but like my best friend from growing up, she lost her dad and 
ninth grade and then she lost her mom a couple years ago like both of her parents gone before age 25 and then so it just like I she's like in my family though Mm -hmm. like my she's so close with my parents and all of us but like I always feel like fuck dude Mother's Day or anything just like uh, I don't know she doesn't hold obviously anything against me or No, and I agree with you, and I feel like that's different. If you have wonderful parents and you lose them, I'm sure Mother's Day is hard. But like I've said on this pod before, I never experienced that. So I don't feel like I missed out on anything. It's hard to miss something that you you never That you never had. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. So when Mother's Day rolls around, and I actually got a couple DMs from people asking me, like, how are you? Did you, you know, my mom, are you okay on Mother's Day? And I'm like, I don't even think about it. Honestly, I don't either. It's not a big deal to me. It's not because we never had that. Yeah. So I don't feel like I'm missing anything. But there's no there's no hard feelings between me and my mom. You know, my mom has passed away, but I was thinking about that on Mother's Day, at, reading all those memes and stuff. I was like, man, I'm sure that if she was equipped with a brain that she, and if, you know, she could have been if she, she would have been if she could have been, but she couldn't have been. So. Yeah. No hard feelings. I saw a post on the rock fuckers like I'm so <clears throat> sick of all these fucking Facebook posts about moms, my mom, you know, like so I guess it is triggering for yeah. people who don't yeah. have their moms in their lives and then seeing other people. Yeah. I don't know. It's not for me. I don't know. I just never had. I never had that, so I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Honestly, I it's this sounds horrible, but I didn't even think about mom on Mother's Day. No. It never even registered to me. Right. Because I was busy with my kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. So yeah. Because now you're Honest to God, I didn't even think about her. No. Agree. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. So. I, and I, people think that's crazy, too. Like, you know. They can't wrap their minds around that. I know, but it's just like your mom was not a part of your life. Mm-mm. So. mm Yeah. I don't know. Um advice I don't know what your relationship was with your mom I, you know if it was good at one point I'm sure it is hard for you now that you don't have a relationship reach out if you want that if if it's not for you if if it's like if you're like man it's better we don't then just I don't know honey so I feel like you know I feel like you know what what to do in your heart well no you know whatever makes you whatever makes you happy honeys and maybe it's not even seeing people post or whatever about it. It's just, it could be something else, even mm-hmm. another trigger. Yeah. You don't even know. Right. That's true. But yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know how to end this one. I'm like, yeah. So. We love you though. And yeah. It does suck to yeah. not have a relationship with yeah. somebody who you, can't, are, you came out the puss. I mean. Are quote unquote supposed to have a relationship with. Yeah. It is. But and you can pick and choose your fucking family. I'm sorry, 100%. but you can. And there's so, dude, there's so many people out there like, oh, yeah, it looks like everyone has great. No, a lot of people have issues with their parents, whatever that may be. So you're not alone. That's for damn sure. For damn sure. Love you, honeys. Hey, guys. Big fan. Just wanted to let you know that when I was in high school, um, my friend's boyfriend went down on her for the first time, and he said that it smelled like Taco Bell. Just thought y'all should know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, honey's bean burrito pussy here. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, honey's love- chalupa pussy here. <laughs> I love that they fucking called. Just called in a randomly and said that. I thought I should let you know. Oh, gosh. My armpits sometimes smell like Taco Bell. Really? Well, you eat so much Taco Bell. And the hot sauce. Mm-hmm. Like it, I'm sure you sweat it out. So is this a, a bad thing or a good thing? I mean, if you are if you go down on a chick and you're tasting a chicken chalupa, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, that's I maybe what you mad. wanted. <laughs> Ooh, with that sauce. Brett, does Paige's pussy taste like Taco Bell? No, not huh. at all. She actually, I tasted it the other day after a bike ride and a car trip, and it tasted great. <laughs> don't, don't. Yeah, I told her. Don't ever fucking say that again. After a bike ride and a car trip. Don't ever say it tasted great. It You're going to make me puke. Great. I wanted to do an experiment. Ooh. Could you imagine him licking my pussy? 
<laughs> Take a video and let me watch it. Okay, I will. Will you really? Yeah. <laughs> will you really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I will. I don't care. Okay. Um. Next time it happens, he's going to fucking do it tonight. He's like, you, you going to film that video? Hey, are you going to yeah. send this to Chelsea? Let's hurry up and do You going to film that video? <laughs> film it. Film he it. Get prob- your phone out. Perfect. Sometimes I do feel bad when I come up. I know it probably looks pretty bad. Like the, the molly, you know, and the squished mustache, probably. I bet it is not a sight to see. <laughs> the cream on the mustache. Look at her face. We're, ta- <laughs> we're talking about you eating her pussy. Mm-hmm. She should be happy right now, yet she looks disgusted. She's well, right. I get pissed off. I would, too. Because now with this mullet, dude, he has a whole new swag. He's whipping. Every time he turns around, it's so dramatic to whip his hair. Oh, my God. I felt bad the other day when I was on top, and my mullet was tickling her face. I was like, I'm have to pull that back, maybe. Put I, in a pony next time. Yeah. I just close my eyes. <laughs> the ponytail's almost worse. <laughs> Y'all didn't make me kiss my pants. <laughs> fuck, hey, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was riding behind him in the car, and he had Dude, a ponytail on. No. I was pissed. <laughs> Fucking a guy with a ponytail. <laughs> Fucking a guy with a ponytail. And it's Brett. Dude, I always wanted a ponytail. Yeah. Really long. You got one one now. I'm going to keep going. Chelsea, it's bad. (laughs) You're going to hate the ponytail. I seen it earlier when I come down here. (laughs) Were you mad? I was a little confused (laughs) as to what it was doing. I'm dead. (laughs) Fucking a guy (laughs) with a ponytail. (laughs) Paige does it. I close my eyes for real because I don't want to see it. And then he's like, oh, I need more headbands. I even started, uh, I started pulling out. I started feeling bad too. Wait, what? Well, Wait, what? You know, just, you know, for she's the saying, mess? <laughs> sometimes it's tough to sleep at night. When I'm pull a cum. <laughs> so I just pull out now sometimes too. Oh Where do you come? Oh, just on like a little cloth. <laughs> Some type of t shirt. Wait, wait, <laughs> hold on. Everybody be quiet. Everybody be like, uh, right, I said okay. be quiet. Right, right, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me get this straight. So, you've been pulling back your hair into a ponytail. No, I need to start. You'll, yeah. you'll be thrusting in her. And instead of coming in her, which you always do, you will pull out, have a cloth in hand. And come in the cloth? Yeah, I've done that a couple times, and it's working out pretty good. I feel like. <laughs> it felt pretty good. No, it's he I comes on my like... shirt. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I hate y'all so much. Mm-hmm. Especially right, you, you're Brett. doing the laundry if you're coming exactly. on our clothes. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, we can come on my clothes. It doesn't oh, matter. My. Either. Well, come it's on either he comes in me and I can't sleep in yeah. him because it drips out all fucking night long. I or to get her sleep, you know. Or I'm, I'm gonna puke. He it's comes the on the cloth, losing sleep. I'd rather over the uh, have her sleep and not in a rag. I'd than rather than have her sleep <laughs> and not, not in, in a, a rag. rag. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. He'll be on the verge and just slip it out and then, yeah, come. So there's that. Yeah. And um. <laughs> uh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Wow, this took a turn, man. And next yeah. call or what were we even talking about? Uh, I think the Taco Bell Taco pussy. Bell yeah, yeah, pussy. Taco Bell. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh! But hold on, I was he put his dick out of me and I was grabbing it really hard, his uh-huh. penis, uh-huh. and then like I don't know why so hard, and then I kind of released and it shot like a cannon. It was fucking disgusting. I Where was, into your mouth? No, onto the cloth. Yeah, it was a new feeling. She, this uh, fucking cloth, dude. I'm. S- it probably could have shot all across the room. It came out pretty fast. Holy shit. Yeah. Ooh. Brett's dad said he was coming so crazy the other day. It started flying everywhere. And <laughs> and he said he started bleeding at it on his arms and shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Russ. Russ, what's going on, man? Bleeding out of his arm. <laughs> oh yeah, big prostates. He bought another dad. letters to, pl- to penthouse. Mm-hmm. It's like because he's jacking off. Yeah, he's jacking off so hard. Hold on, the fact that he's telling y'all this—he just the tells fact, me. 
Oh my god. Yeah. The fact that your boyfriend's dad is telling you how hard he's coming. I love Russ more than anything in this world. He's always telling me he's keeping it everything. I love him so much. Holy shit. And we have got to get him on the fucking pod. He said, I left my phone down in the car and I had to go back to the book. And yeah, he said that the night before I wonder before what we his go-to porn is. What does he like? What's he into? We'll start, right, make a list of questions for Russ. Yeah, yeah. And we'll ask him one of these days. He we said gotta he kind of just goes through. Like, I don't think he has a specific yeah. category. He just likes to see what's on the special. What yeah. kind of girls does he like? Yeah. It's on he sale. Likes to, he likes to see the specials of the day. <laughs> what's the special of the day? Oh, my God. The fact that he tells you it was just going wild. Yeah. And you know he didn't clean that up. I know. He's not a good cleaner. Oh, my Fred's God. Fred's mom had to go clean it. Oh, Ew. yeah. She has to clean up after him all the time. Mm. I'd be so. I'd be. <laughs> Did you guys know Rush shit everywhere, like all over the yeah. walls? One time, huh? Was doing? he drunk? No. So Brett's stomach hurt, and I was like, "Hey, drink this baking soda," because I heard like if you're if you mix baking soda and water together, it's like supposed to chill your stomach. So Russ went and got the baking soda, and I guess he grabbed the one that's been in the fridge for like 15 years. Yeah. Getting oh the smells. Trying um, to get me to drink it. No. And he's like, just drink it, pussy. And yeah. Brett's like, I'm not drinking that. So Russ chugs it, goes down to the car to get his kite, and comes running up. And he's, and then he shit, like. To grab his kite? Yeah, he wanted to go fix his kite or something down in the garage. Runs up, and he he's running to the bathroom, and he's like, Paige, come here. Called yeah. for you? Well, all of us, but yeah, I went in there first, I think, and there was little droplets from like the start of their door <gasps> all the way to the toilet, and then shit everywhere. And like, he didn't clean that? We thought he did. He tried, but Denise, Brett's mom, went in there after, and there was shit. It like, looked really good until you like looked under places or, sh- you know. On the be. light switch. <laughs> Smeared. 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 He took a video of it. Damn, dude. I'm got to show you. Damn. So basically, don't drink baking soda and water. I don't think that's From something. From the fridge. I, yeah. Brett. Sorry. I don't think that's <laughs> something I could look at if you showed me the video. Okay. I just can't. You don't do well. Mm-mm. I would ask for a, a separation after that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy. I'm not cleaning up nobody's She's shit. She's not putting up with no more shit from men. No. R- none. Literally. None. <laughs> I would be like, you got to go. Holy. Guys just don't clean well. They do the basic ass clean. They don't deep clean. <sighs> they they do enough that to get you off their back. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good enough. Well, it's not good enough. That's how they fuck, too. <laughs> it is. If Yeah, good thing Brett lets me get off. Brett, I, I let her. Brett, in that department, you are doing better in that department. Thanks. You're good a job. rock star. Thanks. Good job. Thanks, good job. Couldn't do any better. And I don't know how I come. I don't know either. It's wild. <laughs> Look at him. God. Don't know. But okay. Hey, uh, honeys. Next question. Here. Hey, honeys. Got a question here. Splish, splash. I was taking a bath, and I noticed my man has beautiful balls. Our friends at Manscaped, the global leaders in below the waist hygiene, are turning men's shower dreams into their favorite routine with the all new Ultra Premium Collection. This all in one hair and hygiene bundle is designed to upgrade the everyday man's shower routine from head to to toe. Trust me, ladies, his skin, hair, and balls deserve this. Save big by going to manscaped.com for 20% off, plus free shipping with the code viral. Brett loves the cologne infused ultra premium body wash because it has aloe vera and sea salt in it. And it makes his balls smell fresh like the ocean. And the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner Make his hair look non-greasy and fluffy as ever. The non-greasy formula has a base of coconut water, green tea, 
aloe, turmeric, and sage. And even if his balls and hair smell good, that doesn't mean you still want stragglers. Don't forget about the lawnmower 4.0. Come on, men. Do better and get your hygiene together. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code viral at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code viral at manscaped.com. Let's get the man in your life nice and clean with the new Manscaped shower routine. So me and my friends at work um, are pretty fucked up and we ask each other, would you rather questions all the time? Mm -hmm. And sometimes they get really fucking disgusting because these bitches are sick. And so am I. But I was thinking the other day, listening to the podcast about how disgusted y'all are um, by the thought of eating a pussy. Mm -hmm. So I have a would you rather. Would you rather, Chelsea and Paige, eat? At, like have sex with each other, and that includes eating each other's pussies, or have sex with each other's partners. Like Paige fuck Greg, Chelsea fuck Brett, but you gotta suck the dick, you know, dick in the in the vagina, all of it, every bit of it. But if you do each other, you gotta eat it, you gotta poke it, okay. everything. So, that's my would you rather. Okay. Love you guys. Love Have a you. good day. Bye. Love you. Honey. Love you. I think I'd rather eat your pussy than fuck Greg and suck his dick and stuff. <laughs> Can you imagine that skull it just, <gasps> on top of you, just thrust in? No. It's pretty gross. That's why I'm picking you. As much as I don't like pussy, and as much as I don't, want to eat your pussy brett says it tastes good and i'm looking over at brett right now and i do not want him on top of me so i i guess we're scissoring guess we're scissoring which is wild to think about oh my god dude greg fucking yeah (laughs) yeah i can't imagine yeah Holy shit. Yeah. God bless. I love the would you rather. Yeah, I do too. Y'all got any more would you rathers? Call call us up. Call us up at 442-777-3331. Okay. Hey, ladies. It's Max here from Roanoke, Virginia. Chelsea, I can't wait to see you in Charleston coming up. Um, You'll probably listen to this afterwards. but And shout out to my sister, Nikisha. She watches the show too. I had a little bit of a story and a question. Um, I remember growing up, hanging around the trailer park. If I wasn't riding bikes or hiking up the mountain or um, looking at my dad's porn magazines, um, me and my stepbrother, we would be causing a little bit of ruckus around the trailer park and, you know, breaking things. And uh, I remember one time we were throwing rocks at this lady's car, and I had the rock in my hand, and for some reason – I just felt like bullseye, this is the one, threw the rock and went straight through the back windshield, shattered the glass. Me and my stepbrother, we ran off scared as hell, (coughs) shitting ourselves. And, um, yeah, so that leads me to my question. Growing up, did you have any situations where you caused a lot of damage and to run like hell? Did you get caught? Um, I'm interested to hear. I love you, ladies. Love you. I'll call again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks we for appreciate yes. that. And shout out to Nakisha. If yeah. you're listening, honeys, love you. Thank love you for you. the support. Mm-hmm. Thank um, you. What a cool dude. Throwing rocks at windows. Great guy. <laughs> Great guy. Um, did we ever do anything uh, at the trailer park or, or just as kids? Dude, we, I don't think I ever caused like damage, but we would always break into people's houses. That was our thing. <laughs> Breaking <laughs> and entering. <laughs> that was our thing. Trust as passing. children, we would break and enter. At such Damn. a young age. Uh-huh. We just, didn't give a fuck. But you guys were just hungry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> We were. <laughs> That's sad. That's so fucking sad. If you think sad. about it, it was always to get food. That's fucking sad. The popsicles, we would go looking for food. 
Oh my god, I never thought about that before. That's fucking sad. It really is. Well, and we would look in other stuff, but we would go straight to the ice box and see what they got. Y'all got any ice cream? <laughs> y'all, <laughs> y'all ain't home, but y'all got ice cream. We would. We would. Break, we would. If I if we knew people weren't home, we'd find a way to get in and just snoop and look oh, in there. We fridge. broke into multiple houses, multiple around the neighborhood. Uh huh. Holy! I remember one house. We threw eggs on the floor. I don't remember that. It was just for fun. <laughs> Did I do that? I don't remember. You're who in their was house eating their food. Uh. I'm pretty sure you were with us. It was in Sulphur. It was in Sulphur. We were wow. riding our bikes. That is sad. Dude, we would just go into people's houses. That was a regular thing. We did it in Sulphur. We did it in Kingston. Uh, we did it in Marietta. Yeah, we did. All over the place. All over Oklahoma. We were those kids walking around town looking for an unlocked door. And you know what? They were always unlocked. We just went right through the damn door. And small nobody town. was ever fucking home. Oh, we never like opened a window or... F- no, it, we we just would Walked go straight right in. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. If Locked the car right wasn't in, there, got a snack and left. Yes, we yes. did. <coughs> yes. <clears throat> Holy shit! That's funny. I never did anything beyond that. I mean, we still that golf cart once. Got in trouble for that. I was always doing dumb shit like that guy. I was like me, Jerry, and our cousin. We would be like getting fucking snowballs. We don't care if rocks are in it. What cars would drive by and we'd be throwing them at cars. Holy and then I remember one time like. We threw one, and the lady stopped, and we all just fucking took off. Yeah. That was scary. Yeah. Adults were scary back in the day. Especially when they're mad. Oh, fuck. Man, we were the last generation of kids to go fuck around the neighborhood. Mm Mm-hmm. That really doesn't happen. Kids don't do that anymore. They're, mm-hmm. I mean, because they're going to get fucking kidnapped and murdered and shit. You can't, like, let your kids just roam around now. Just out riding your bike mm-hmm. till dark mm-hmm. and hanging out with the neighbors was a <sighs> highlight of my childhood. Oh, my God. I never wanted to come home. Oh, yeah. that was, you got home from school, you got on your bike, and you just fucked around town. Until bedtime. Uh-huh. Those were the days, dude. Good times. Oh, my God. Yeah. I remember I made my friend. Well, we would always, like, make obstacles with her four-wheelers. Mm-hmm. And her house was the fucking fun one, all huge, and had all the tools and shit we needed. Uh-huh. But we're riding four-wheelers, and she, either I crashed into the fence or she did. And then uh, we had to, like, paint the fucking fence <sighs> and hope her parents never saw. And they yeah. noticed, like. Shit like that all the yeah. time when you're like, yeah. fuck, I hope they don't see. For sure. Yeah. God. Oh, man, dude. Our childhood, you know what? As shitty as it was, Maggie, I, I don't I don't ever look back on my childhood and think negatively. I don't ever be like, oh, man, I had a horrible. I'm thinking of the fucking fun we had. We did have some good times mixed in there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Good oh. times. Good it's all times. what you kind of make of it. Right. Like, anybody could be like, oh, I had a shitty childhood. Right. This, but. Exactly. Yeah, childhood was the fucking best. Oh, my God, dude. Yes. I think if I could go back, I would. I was just about to say, if you could go back for one day, what would you do? Oh, yeah. and But I would want to be in my, I would want to be my age now, stuck in my child, you know, oh, body. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That way I could really yeah go back and ask questions and like maybe understand something. Yeah, that's true. I want to go back just dumb as fuck if that, how I was. That's that I like both. I like both because yeah, I mean, go back to the innocence and the fucking yeah. I was crimping my hair all the time, jumping off the roof to the trampoline. <sighs> I would never do that shit now. Would you guys do that back in the day? Like oh. sleep out on the trampoline? Yes. Yeah. Oh, the physical shit I would do? Looking back, I'm like, oh, hell no. I would literally break both of my legs right now if I did that. <laughs> I would, yeah. and I would. Yeah. But how come as a kid, you can do that shit and you're fine? And you don't even think twice about it. No, you don't. You're just a limber. And you're full of it. energy. <laughs> no. Go. Yeah. I would run around, dude, making all these obstacles till like three in the morning, just 
how were we doing that? Dude, childhood was great. Staying up all night, waking up at the ass crack of dawn. Uh-huh. No phones. Going again. No tablets. I remember, like, your mom would wake up and you just... Uh-huh. <laughs> Act like you're sleeping. Mm-hmm. Dude, we lived off of Famous Star Burgers, too, from Carl's Jr. Yeah, we did. They were 99 cents. Uh-huh. Back in the day, they were 99 cents. And our apartments were right by home. Uh-huh. That's that's how we ate most of the time. We would scrape up change. Literally. We would ask people around town for change, and we would go get a hamburger for mm-hmm. dinner. We fed ourselves, dude. We oh didn't need God. nobody to feed us. Gosh. No, we, made it, right. we made it happen. You guys yeah. have lived, like, nine lives. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like, sometimes I'm like, man, I feel like I'm 20 years old. And then, I know. And then I'm like, holy shit. I, yeah, we. <sighs> You've been homeless on the streets asking for money, mm-hmm. going through people's houses. Wild. It's crazy to think that. I know. I know. Do you ever like uh, smell something and then it brings you back to your childhood? Yeah. Certain things remind, yeah. Um, certain things remind me of. Like uh, chicken noodle soup. If there's like a can of chicken noodle soup, it reminds me when we lived in the apartments. Because mom would go to Sack and Save and get a big uh, big box of the the Sack and Save chicken noodle soup. And we would eat that cold for dinner. We would literally just pop open a top and eat it with with a spoon for dinner. Oh. So every time I see a can of chicken noodle soup, it just takes me back. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, shit like that. Mine's fresh cut grass. What's that remind you of? Like it summers? Just, it, it reminds me of running, like just being a kid uh-huh. in the summertime. Uh huh. I love the smell of fresh cut grass. Yeah. I hate it. It reminds me of like football practice. Oh, that too. Sweating. That is true. <sighs> Softball practice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. There was nothing worse. I had track practice and then softball practice right after. Oh, hell no. I never did two at one time. Mm-mm. I just did it year round something. Mm-hmm. And my dad wanted me to golf too, at but they wouldn't let me do three sports at once. Hey, honey's no time here. I know. No time, Alan. Good thing everyone was doing my homework at school. <laughs> Shout out to Carly. Dude, I just wasn't turning mine in. <laughs> I wasn't. Would you procrastinate? Oh, God. I would do, dude, this would be me. Y'all know Becca. If y'all aren't listening, she's my best friend since junior high. And she was smart, valedictorian, everything. And I was like the dumbest in the class, dude. And like, dude, every if, if something was due, I'd be like, hurry, hurry, what is it like? like, I'm like what is it, what is it? That was me every time, every time. <laughs> Scrambling. <laughs> to turn right it before, it. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was me a lot. Yeah. Just copying, cheating. Oh, I copied and cheated my way through school. Mm-hmm. Me too. Even my driver's test. Really? I think. Yeah. Everything. Maggie, listen to us saying we copied and cheated our way through school. I know. <laughs> holy, I know. Holy. We did, though. 100%. And so we could play sports. That's all. That's Yeah, exactly. I feel like if you played sports, they kind of were more lenient on grades. Oh, coach would go talk to the teachers and be like, you know, yeah, it was a thing. We got a big game Saturday. <laughs> I need her out there. <laughs> yep. Can you make that F and D? Fresh. Yep. Exactly. Damn. That's exactly yeah. what happened. I'm going to think of some more stories because I know that I was out there fucking shit up more than just snowballs. Yeah. I mean. I know. What did I do? I can't remember. Hmm. I was always toilet papering houses in pretty rude ways, like throwing Q-tips, cotton balls. We did that. We didn't do Q-tips and cotton balls. Those were expensive. I we know. We did toilet paper. Toilet paper is even expensive mm-hmm. on uh, football game nights or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think I only did that like once. Mm. I always felt like shit after though. Oh, not me. Sometimes we just toilet paper our own house. In so, our uh, town, when somebody got toilet papered, everybody fucking knew about it. And oh, they yeah. always found out who did it. Oh, always. They'd call you into the office or something. Oh, yeah. It was a big thing. It, it was, was a big, big thing. thing. It was a big deal. We would have parents calling. <laughs> Come clean this back up. <laughs> I never had to go back out and clean anything. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> My friend that passed away, um, they called us and they're like, Hey, come clean this back up and so we her mom's like, Just go do it and so we got on her four wheeler and it was like a couple blocks away and we had to like ride under this um electric fence 
and it like shocked my whole freaking back (gasps) going back to their house to clean it up how'd they know it was y'all i don't know i have no clue Hmm. maybe they had cameras or something and then i was like courtney i cannot clean this up like i don't know if i was embarrassed or just I don't know what it was, and I just hid on the other side of the four wheeler the whole time. It just and she was laughing her ass off cleaning it up. How it just got gotcha. out of the trees, though. I could not. I, I didn't want to see them, the family. Just, Aww. just a dumbass. The family. I don't want to see the family and be cleaning up the toilet paper out there. What if the mom came out there and was like? Yelling at y'all and shit. That's true. Oh, that, that is embarrassing. I hated it. So I just hid. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. Good. Good little segment there. I enjoyed talking about. Hey, you. honey. Rock fucker. Rock bottom pussy and a rock bottom lifer here. Spring fever is in the air with the smell of fresh blooms and the sun shining down on your skin, and you can't help but feel inspired to spice things up and explore your inner desires and fantasies find stories that match your mood this season on dipsy dipsy is an app full of hundreds of sexy audio stories designed for women by women they bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and characters no matter who you're into or what turns you on dipsy also has sleep stories wellness sessions and now they also offer written stories they even have stories designed specifically for your zodiac sign any virgos out there New content is released every week, so in between listening to your stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. It's your go-to place to spice up your me time. For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash viral. That's 30 days of full access for free. When you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories dot com slash viral dipsy stories dot com slash viral um gonna make this as short as possible um my husband and i have been together for 10 years um total at one point we uh legally separated and was in the process of divorcing after the papers were served my father-in-law decided to text me um found it a little strange but not necessarily really because uh we've always had a pretty good relationship a um, few days go by, he uh, takes me and my kids out to dinner and, um, excuse me, lunch, and we uh, had a good time. He wanted to spend time with the kids, uh, came back to my place to help me put a dresser together for my kids, and we ended up fucking. Um, he's married. Uh, my mother-in-law is fucking insane. Um, anyway, um, yeah, it's the best I've ever had. Best sex. Uh so fucking good. Uh, 10 out of 10 recommend it. Um, anyway, uh, so I've been keeping the secret for a really long time. Five years too long. My husband and I have reconciled our differences since then. Oh. Um, but I wouldn't be lying if I said I didn't think about it all the time. My father-in-law and I are 21 years apart, and I always wonder how he got with such a psycho like my mother-in-law because he's such a cool-ass dude. Um, so, yeah. And we respect each other's boundaries. We're good. We act like nothing ever happened. Um, so that's my story. Uh, love you. Love you guys so much. Um, keep doing what you're doing. Proud of y'all. And Brett, do better. Thank you. Oh, yeah? Love you, honeys. Damn, what a story. That she, makes me so happy. She says, Brett, do better, but then she fucks her father. father I know. Anymore. And then gets yeah. back with his son. Hmm. Oh, I mean. boy. You know, shit happens. She said 10 out of 10 would recommend. Dude, he didn't shit. waste no time getting some pussy from her. Uh-uh. A couple days later, he's like, hey, is my son. Hey, I want to see the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when when she said he wanted to spend time with the kids, I uh, know he didn't. Let me take you out to lunch. <laughs> you got anything you need around the house you need help with? God, that escalated quick. Dude. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know. Good for you. I mean, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> Good. I mean, I don't know. You fucked a married man. You fucked your father-in-law. You fucked your son's wife. You fucked your son's 
dad. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you fucked your yeah, son's I mean, wife and you <laughs> fucked your daughter-in-law. You fucked your kid's grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. You but, fucked uh, your grandkid's mother. The fact that they are keeping this, they, they're keeping it, is, oh my God. I'd be sitting around Thanksgiving and be like, mm. and she still thinks about it. I know. Five years he later. He must have had some good dick. I he must have had that good father in law was And mm-hmm. it, it was a one-time thing, you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe they're not still fucking. I know, especially if it was that good. She wants more. I'd be like, uh, hey, you want to come over here and fix this dresser for me? <laughs> Your son's at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you remember five years ago that dresser you helped me move in? It's broken. <laughs> uh, could you come? There's a scratch on it. I don't know how to rub this oil on. If you could just come over. <laughs> cool. Hey, the kids really want to see you. God bless them. Oh, well. The kids really want... This is the shit we live for. Hey, Papa, the kids really want to see you. You want to come over? Help me with this dresser. Hey, Diane, I have to go help them with the the dresser, and I want to go spend some time with the grandkids. I'll be back in a couple hours. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) What a story. Dude. I can't believe people are are out there doing that. I know. It's wild. That's probably nothing. People are out there. That's people are out there doing that on a lot of people. I would say I would yeah. never fuck my father in law. I don't think I could do it. No, I don't think I could do I it. I damn sure couldn't fuck my father in law. <laughs> Roger, Roger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'd rather never fuck again, dude. If you you want to tell that <laughs> the blankets? No, don't. Never mind. No, don't. Okay. No, no, no. God, Maggie. <laughs> I want to know. I'll tell you after. I Roger. can't say on here. I can't. Let's just can't. say. Let's just say things got sticky when he came to visit. Mm. Imagine me fucking Ross. <laughs> wow. I'm imagining. I feel like it'd be the same as fucking Brett. Oh my. Brett's Look at puff- Brett right now. He's his, going. He's going. His, his puffer fish laugh. Yeah, I I couldn't do that, but. Yeah. 10 out of 10 would recommend. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Wow. Very interesting. Great call. Great story. Thank you so much for calling in and letting us know. One more thing about Russ. He called the other day and said, I have a viral idea. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and we're like, what is it? And he goes, you guys are going to milk my prostate, and we're going to show it like we're live. It on our OnlyFans. Yeah. And he wants like a tutorial, but he'll he'll be the person that we milk the prostate Who's to. Who's doing the milking? He wants Paige to do it. One of us, I guess. I think he's leaning more towards me than Brett. But <laughs> am I going to be there? Probably. He said medical. It's just for have medical. Chelsea do it for medicinal. Yeah, medical. I mean, I'll do it. Okay. If it's for medical purposes. Yeah. Do you guys really need their really prostate milk? I don't know nothing about that. That's what he's saying. One of these things that nobody talks about, you know, we need to have these prostates milked. Mm. Oh my god! And I've god. already been, I've already been milked, so I'm good. Don't and you got to be milked multiple to, like on a regular basis? I don't know. We'll if, see. If you get milked, please leave a comment down below. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. I've never done any milking in my life. I don't want to milk anybody. <laughs> it pisses me off to think about it. Paige said it's pretty easy to find. <laughs> It pisses me off to think about it. Yeah, when I milked Brett, it was just like a come hither motion. It was like almost a little walnut was in there. And then... And you were rubbing it? Yeah. Oh, I just got sick to my stomach. <laughs> and like milk came out or something. Does the like milk... Like powder. It comes out of the dick hole. Yeah, it was like almost mm. powdery and foamy. Not powdery. No, it was yeah, foamy, I'd say. Bubbly. Mm. <laughs> So okay. there's our viral idea. Okay, well, I mean. Yeah. So you got to rub Russ's walnut and in his asshole. Basically, it's kind of like uh, he's going to bust a nut, but it's going to be uh, foam. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It is weird. I didn't even know I that you know, it happened hmm. when it happened. Hmm. You know. Okay, well, that is a viral idea. 
He wasn't wrong. It's a great medical idea. Yeah. He wants to get milked. Bad. Hey, y'all Keeps know y'all, calling, dude. Y'all know who we have to get through to make this happen? Denise. Denise. Oh yeah, I forgot about mom. Why doesn't he yeah. have Denise milk him? <laughs> I'll wants... talk to mom. I'll talk to her. Brett, will you talk to your mom? See I if will. we can milk your dad. And if she can't do it, then I'm sure she'll be fine with it. She said you. she can she'll be out in the kitchen and she said she can hear Russ in the bedroom jacking off. And screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> <What are you laughs> doing? He screams. <laughs> well, he gets into it, yeah. Sometimes. Maggie, have you but, met yeah. Russ? Yeah, in Vegas. He didn't know. Oh, he thought, my God. He screams. <laughs> I'm dying. What does he say? Dude, what I does lo- he scream? I love Russ so much. And he doesn't try to be quiet and hide it. No. From Denise. No. She knows what he's doing. <laughs> and she goes, yeah, I can hear him. In What's there. he screaming? He said sometimes ask. he nuts so hard it hurts. And he's, uh, uh, yeah. Which is why he needs to be milked, I guess. Yeah. I don't um, want to grow old. I'm obsessed with Russ. Y'all have no idea. Y'all, the fact that they talk about this with y'all is <laughs> everything. I know. I ask him a lot. I dig in. Oh, my God. I'm crying. Holy. You saw his backflip off the bridge the other day, right? That's I pretty thought cool. that was a joke. I thought that was you saying it was him, but it was really him. I love that was him my so dad. Much. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Did a backflip off a bridge in the water. What a and cool he's day. fucking in his seventies. God. Great guy. Wow. Insane. Yeah. Hey, honeys. My name is December, and I'm from Alton, Maine. Um, I have a few questions. One, um. Did you think you'll have you would have uh, your style that you have now back then when you were younger? And the other one is, um, have you ever had a type of style that you would that you've always wanted to like have, and like a type of haircut that you'd like to have, mm. um, but you're kind of like, mm. eh, I'm not sure if I should do it or not. All right, love you, honeys. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Love you, honeys. Oh yeah! Um, hey, December. That's a cute name, mm-hmm. December. Cute. Hey, honeys, do we have helicopters flying over, or what's going on? Yeah, it sounds yeah. like there's helicopters swarming your place. Hey, honey, SWAT team here. Damn. Um, I love this question. So. Damn, what is that? Y'all like y'all probably can't hear it listening on the pod, but it sounds like there are multiple helicopters. It's over. those big army ones. They fly by about once a week. Holy. Um Wow. So um hair hairstyle. My best friend Becca that I was talking about earlier, her and I made a pact in high school that when we turn fifty years old, we're getting mullets. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You have to. Yeah, and I'm perming mine. I was thinking about getting a mullet the other day. What? Yeah. Yeah, just because I can't get my fingers through my hair. That'd be what I would fucking die if you got a mullet, Paige. I seen this lady the other day with a mullet, and it actually looked really cute. The way she had it fixed. Yeah. Oh, I already know it won't be looking cute, but... Fuck. Style. I've always had the same style. I, 90% of the time, I am in jean shorts and a t-shirt. 90% of the time. I will only dress up if I have something to dress up for. <clears throat> um, And great little segue to talk about. Now, I'm just putting this out into the universe. I'm not promising anything. I'm not whatever. I would love to one day come out with a clothing line. Mm-hmm. I would love to. I love the style of like, you know, like free people, but like they only go up to a size large, sometimes extra large. Like I can't fit most of their stuff. So like, but I love that style, you know? Um, yeah, I would love, I would just love to come out with a clothing line and have it be like, you know, size extra small to six X size double zero to 28 or 30. You know, I would love and, and not have a, a, a straight size section and then a plus size. It's all the fucking same. Yeah, like I can wear the same fucking shirt as you. Me and you could get matching outfits mm-hmm. and it'd be no problem. Yeah, I agree That's with my. That. That's my, I would love to one day when I have time and money to invest in it to do that. Mm-hmm. For me, I, I always want to like make shit. Mm-hmm. I have a style in my head, but 
I mostly like to be comfy. Like, I've always wore fucking sweats and stuff to school. But I think, yeah, just anything different than what the average person wears. Yep. A little funky, a little... Yeah. Yeah. But then I go in phases, too, of like, gosh, I don't really like color. And then Mm. to loving, to wearing fucking bright green and blue checkered jackets. Patterns and stuff, yeah. (laughs) So I don't know what my style is, honestly. Yeah. Kind of like it all. Just and that's depends okay. on the fucking day. And that's okay. Mainly 3X sweatpants and crop tops are my style. Because I love hiking pants up uh-huh. to my titties. Having them and, loose. And pockets are yeah. a must. Mm-hmm. Pockets. Yes. Pockets and you, and you on always everything. Look cute, honeys. You always look cute. Hey, honeys. Thank you here. You're welcome. But I definitely have seen some old pictures. Like, why did I fucking wear that? Yeah. I was the girl in high school, like, I always, like, wanted to look different, so I wore, like, the, you know, I'd go to, like, um, what's that, what's that, not Spencer's, is it Spencer's? Like, Hot Topic? Hot Topic, and I would, like, get all my clothes, like, anything, like. Grunge? Funky, or, yeah, I would wear, like, yeah. If I wasn't wearing basketball shorts and a t-shirt, I was wearing, like, Hot Topic shit. Damn. Yeah. I didn't know that. Did uh-huh. you go through, like, a... Like what? Like I was, a phase? I wasn't emo, but um, I definitely went through a Blink-182 phase. <laughs> All the small things. things. We'll get out my um, my scrapbook and we'll look through it together. Let's do that. Yeah. I've always loved crop tops. You do. You have always loved them. I saw pictures of me when I was little wearing crop tops. Wearing a crappie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're just comfy. Yeah. And why not? Why not? Yeah, so love that question. Yeah, I would love to come out with a clothing line. So we'll see, honeys. We'll see where everything goes, and then I'm just kind of putting that out there into the universe. Would be very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Do it. Thank you. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Paige. Uh, So I dropped out of high school when I was 17 to work full-time, and I never ended up going back to school, and I never ended up getting my GED. I am now 34 years old, and I am just scared. Like, I'm scared to take the GED test, especially the math, because I'm stupid. And people, you know, when you say you're stupid, people are like, oh, you're not stupid, you're not stupid. But when it comes to math, I'm legit stupid. Like, math is just hard. It's hard. And... I guess I just, I'm scared to take the GED because I'm scared to tell people I failed because, like, that's embarrassing. And I just, I don't know, I'm just so scared and I have such anxiety about it that 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 I will fail that I just keep putting it off. Like, I talked about getting my GED my entire 20s and I wasted so much time. And now I'm 34, and I still don't have a GED. So I don't know. Like, I just, I don't even know what my question is. I just wanted to tell you guys that. And maybe you have some words of encouragement that will finally get me to get off my ass and do it. Love you, honeys. Love you, honeys. Love you. I mean, you've gone this long. You probably don't even need it. That's what I was thinking. They don't look it up. Here's my thing. Just lie. I feel the opposite and hear me out. If she didn't give a fuck, yeah, who cares? But she's was she thought about this her whole twenties. This is something she wants. Yeah. This is something she wants, but she's afraid to fail. Here's the thing, honeys, you'll never you'll never get what you want or you'll never grow or you'll never, you know, do anything unless you step out of your comfort zone. Hey, there is a chance you might fail. Okay, take it again. Okay, study, take it again. There's a chance you might fail a third time. Take it again. But maybe she thinks you need it because everybody has it. That but you I mean, if you are already have a job or think she's already had so much experience, just fucking mark it that you have your GED and then they're gonna call your past job experience. The vibe I got from the phone call is that this is something she wants to do for herself. She yeah. said she wanted to do it her whole 20s. Now she feels it's too late. And she doesn't want to tell anybody she failed 
then don't tell anybody you're taking don't it. Don't tell anybody you're taking it. Just don't, keep it all to yourself. Don't tell anybody. That That's what I would do. Dude. Study, and if you fail, that's okay, because, I mean, people fail all the time, shit. And I'll honestly, take- I couldn't take it and pass it right now. No, I, could, I probably There's couldn't. There's no way That's in what hell. I was going to say. Like, math has got so much harder and changed. I and- can't even help the kids with their math homework. They have to go to, like, Chelsea and Greg. It's no, so... No. I could, half the time you can't like I it, could not tell you what six times seven is right now. Don't know. I think, and that's okay. Yeah. Don't know. Calculator can. Exactly. We have calculators. Um, yeah. When the girls like Lola and Liv would come to me, I'd say go to Brett. Dude, sometimes they come to me and I'm like, I, I have no idea. You have to go back into your classroom and uh-huh. ask your teacher yeah. mm-hmm. because I can't help you. And it's okay to fail. I mean, that's you don't I'm have saying. to tell anybody, but I mean, it's fucking fine. That's what I'm saying. And you know what? If you fail and you don't want to take it again or you fail twice and you don't want to take it a third time, you know what? So what? You failed. At least you tried. At least you went for it. I get the vibe she really wants this for herself. If you if you wait another 10 years, if you wait another 10 years like you did in your 20s, I feel like you're going to regret it. I feel like you should take it. I feel like you don't tell anybody. Study, take it, do this for yourself. Mm-hmm. I feel like you should get it. At least try to get it. Yeah, and you can fucking do it. If you put you, your mind to it, you can do it. Yeah, and if you put your back into it, you can do it as well. You can do it, put your back into it. <laughs> right. I heard, or I read this thing that said, if you think about it more than three times, then do it. Oh, I love that. Because it, you're going to keep thinking about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, I notice myself thinking of something for the third time, even if it's something simple, like, go change the laundry. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go fucking do it right now. Yeah. I like that. Because it just holds you back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. I think you should, you know... Yeah, I people are scared to do shit all the time. You just got to do it anyway. I even am. Me too. Just Me. even like going on other people's podcasts or mm-hmm. doing anything, but then once it's over, you feel so relieved. Exactly. And I feel like if you don't try, I feel like you're going to regret that. So I feel like you should at least try. Straight up. I think you should do it. And you might be surprised, honeys. Might just knock it out of the ballpark. I was good at learning the subject and then staying on that subject, you know, like as the class was going. But then when you learn so many new subjects and have to take that test at the very end, that's what gets me. Because I forget everything I fucking learned. (laughs) I'm really good at at it in the moment, but remembering it, not so good. Yep, yep. Do it, honeys. Do it for yourself. And, you know, send us a message. Let us know. Let us know an update. Hopefully we see your update. I'd love to know. Love this is, you. This is the last call. <gasps> All yeah. right. Oh. Hello, ladies. Single and lonely here. I, uh, I'm i 37, never been married, no kids, no girlfriend, nothing in sight. Uh, a good friend of mine was asking me last time what my perfect girl, per- perfect woman would be. And I told him about you two ladies. And I told him if I could combine those two women, I would love to come home to her for the rest of my life. But who knows if that will ever happen. Thank you all for listening. Bye-bye. You may just oh, get yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, wow. You may just get us both one of these days. You never know, sir. Well, and we're going to be conjoined when we're scissoring. Right. They could just stack you guys. That's when we'll be together. <laughs> that was very – he said – He said Single and lonely. Single and lonely. Aww. I wonder if he would pick my tits or your tits. Um, I'm guessing yours. Well, he may not like one milk of each. bags. Yeah, one of each. Oh, that would be cool. What a sweet, kind fucking man. Very nice. Why aren't people like him? Why are they single? <sighs> Something's got to be wrong with him. <laughs> Maggie! I mean, Jesus Christ! Maybe not, but... <laughs> But why is he single? Maggie is. Why are you single? Because I want to be right See, now. He may not want to fuck with people. I'm done. There's, <laughs> there must be something wrong with him. But I've been married and he hasn't, you know. He, he may not settle. You know, he may not like want. Who knows? He seems like a really nice guy. Some people have a hard time opening up to people. Yeah. That may be what's wrong with him. Since we're pinpointing something right now. 
Since we're pinpointing a very nice man who called in. <laughs> what a sweet. Something art. must be wrong with him. <laughs> Why he never been married before? I do want to know why he's single and lonely. Sir, call us back in. Let us know what's fuck back. I need to know. Let us know what's wrong with you. Well, I want to know why his if he did have last like relationships before, why they failed, or I guess it's not a fail, but why they well honestly ended. Like Beth, how old is Beth? Thirty one. Oh yeah, she's never and she's never had a relationship that stuck. And she's never had a relationship that was good. And here's my thing. Beth is literally a perfect woman. Like, I know her so well. She is hot. Let's start with the physical. She's hot. She loves to fuck. She'll suck your dick. She'll do anything. Great titties. She has a wonderful personality. She is not crazy. She not smokes good. weed. She smokes weed. You know how some, you know, some chi- some people, men and women are just crazy. She's not crazy. She'll do anything for you. Like, she, like to me, if I was a dude, she would be a perfect woman. But she just keeps getting fucked over and fucked over and fucked over by dudes. And so, that may be his case. He, he may be a good person. He just gets with fucking just crazy bitches. Who knows? And I feel like the most sweet guys... Usually just get taken advantage of. Yeah. That's true. Like, they're too nice, and women just yeah don't like nice people for some reason. I love a nice dude. Me too. A gentle man. hmm Exactly. Honeys, so. I hope the best for you. I know. And you never know if if uh, Paige and I are single one of these days. I'm just, I mean, you never know what's going to happen in life, is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? You honestly never know. Um, and we're in, in the mood for a thruple. Well, we'll keep your number. Yeah, we'll save it. <laughs> what if we saved his fucking number? Dead. Oh, bless his heart. Thank you for calling in. I'm sorry Maggie said something was wrong with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? It's okay. It's okay. No, he he knows we're joking. Yeah, he, know, yeah, he knows we're joking. <sighs> Maggie. I love that she's a part of this pod. No fucking filter, dude. I have no filter. None. Oh my. None. Oh my <laughs> god, I love it. I love it. I love y'all. <clears throat> Can I? What? I wasn't gonna. Say, well, I was going through the calls, and this guy goes, "I have an uncircumcised penis, and there's nothing wrong with it." Maggie said she she'd kick the guy out or whatever, but. That you just have to clean your uncircumcised penises. And I was fucking laughing how Maggie just has zero. Yeah. <laughs> I'd tell him to leave. <laughs> mean. Uh, but, but, like, she doesn't mean it like that. I y'all, mean, the love of my life is probably not going to be circumcised. circumcised. Watch. Right. It'll he, uh, it'll get me back right. somehow. Can you imagine that guy driving down the road, listening to the Vara podcast? He's sitting there having a great time. All of a sudden, Maggie's like... Uh, if the guy was uncircumcised, I'd kick his ass out. He's like, what the fuck? What's that fucking number? <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Four, four, two. I heard it. I heard it this morning, and I was like, holy shit. Dead. Yeah. The, yeah, he's like, was saying most women love it even more. Mm. It adds more. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> well, we love you. Uncircumcised or not, we love anyone here at the Viral Podcast. This side of the room does. We love you guys. <sighs> Canceled. Over there's another story, <laughs> but we, but but she's we don't. She's not. A, she's so, not on the. Something's she's wrong not with on this. Camera. <laughs> this is our podcast. Yeah. Listen to us. No. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for coming to the shows, you guys. I have another month and a half left on tour um so um go to eatmytrash.com see if i'm going to be near you if the shows aren't sold out would love to see you there been having a blast thank and you guys the so rock much for coming fuckers are wild wild i went to a couple of chelsea shows and they are amazing i met so many people and a lot of people came up and said Paige, i'm here alone uh-huh. but and i'm like you will find somebody like it does first of all it doesn't matter go by yourself it's yep fine yep and 
you'll meet so many other rock fuckers. Mm -hmm. I thought two people were best friends and they just met at your show. They're like, we're rock fuckers. We met in the line. Yep. It's crazy. It's so, I'm telling y'all, lots of people come by themselves. Lots of people. And Mm -hmm. they'll message me like, I was so scared to come by myself, but the the table I was sitting at, everybody was so cool. We had a great time. And I'm like, yeah, yes. A guy came up to me and said, my boyfriend was so happy. I, I was coming to Trailer Trash Tammy's show. That he works in another country, and he sent me a guy to fuck before the show. Whoa. He said, Whoa. so I got a fresh nut right before the show. I'm like, dude, what a badass fucking boyfriend. Sent Sit. him a guy. How'd that happen? On Tinder, maybe? I set know. it all up? Yeah, he set it all up for him, his boyfriend to get a fresh nut before your show. What a cool guy. That's what I said. Wow. Mm. 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 very interesting very interesting <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys love and you call guys. in and eat our ass at 442-777-3331 and always remember you're doing great you're looking good and fuck what everybody else thinks get ready, 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 ready. we're going live Get ready. We're going live.